Good morning, everyone. Louis Borslino, ManOverMarket.com, and today is December 2nd, and this is the E-mini um, S&P 500 morning call. All right, last night, once again, we rallied up to the 59 area, as you can see this blue line right here, and we failed. Came from, rallied up to 59, and uh, failed, went back down, and... Um, we didn't test the glow back low, but we went back down. We made the low, like, basically right on post-close. And then we went back down and we tested um, 51 half. okay? Uh, we've had a couple pivot swings during the night. We just recently took it out now. We uh, got a long pivot. Um, we're sitting inside of value, okay, in value. Uh, the low here of value is... Uh, 20, 50, uh, 50, 75, which is also the low of Globex. Um, we got our uh, pivot sitting right here at 20, 51, basically 20, 52. We're in value here. Um, and uh, the top of value is at uh, 20, 56, 75. Okay. And our mode from yesterday was 20.52.75. This is one of these trades sometimes. Remember, uh, if you listen to the the uh, the, the uh, post-close uh, video, I said I didn't trust the close. You know, here was our mode, and they pushed these things. Sellers pushed this market down to 49.5 on the close. We never retraced back. So I always look uh, to see if that's going to um, uh, play itself out. And at least go back and test the pivot. I said in the post close, I thought we'd go and test at least 54, and you know we went up and actually tested the high. Our bull bear zone exactly uh, again is at uh, 2057 and a quarter, 2057 and a quarter. All right, we're gonna have resistance at 59, and we're at um, uh, the the day high uh, yesterday uh, was 2060. Okay, 2060. And then uh, there was a Globex high up there of 2064. Um, the thing that's bothering me right now, and not that it bothers me because I, I'd like to see the market go down, if you take a look at the profile, right? All right, and remember this whole theory. Now, here's the day mode from yesterday. We put a mode in here of 2056. Um, this is the night before up at 2057. But... When I put these things, when I start putting them back together, all right, instead, with, uh, instead of having different periods, all right, so this is from the 30th. Look where volume's at. The most trades occurred here at 2052.75, okay? This is volume, the purple, right? And then look at all the time that's been spent above that. The time spent above that is um, usually indicative of a market that's moving down when you have um, volume here and time above it, okay? Uh, let's see if we throw this back together, if we can get even more of a picture. Throw these couple more days and periods in here. So... You know, this is this is showing that you know the, that we got a lot of time above where the most trades are happening at 2052.75, and this is kind of, you know, I think maybe misleading because I'm going to just reset the splits. Um, it may be misleading because the fact that um, you know a lot of that that time was a holiday trade. So, um, but nonetheless, I don't. You know, we don't uh, pretend to, you know, you can't uh, discount it. So that's what I'm seeing here. Uh, we definitely, um, on the downside, for for me to think that this thing has to really get moving, we have to take out uh, basically 2051, 2052, which is a five-minute pivot, and we have to take out uh, 2050 half, which I have. Actually, we got the 15-minute pivot sitting at 2052. 
and I got uh, 2050 half. I got the 30 minute pivot sitting. And then uh, yesterday, the four hour, the four hour um, pivot went to a sell. So let me see where I got the hourly pivot. The hourly pivot is up above resistance at uh, 2063 half, 2063 half. So, um, you know what? We'll just, uh, you know, and for this market today to get moving has to get outside of value and, and, and keep moving. So that's going to be, that's going to be problematic for me if we don't get outside of value. So, um, those are my observations. Um, you take a look at the, so yesterday was the first day that we had um, basically uh, a higher or lower, higher, a lower value high, a lower mode and a lower, um, a lower value area low. Okay, we're talking, you know, I, I, I said yesterday, I thought that you know, we went down. I thought 47 would be a good target. I would like to see this is 38. And, you know, probably, you know, if you, if they may be able to knock it down to between 38 and 31 and then take it back next week. So that's what I'm, uh, that's what I'm looking for. So uh, uh, right now, um, the five-minute pivot, we have to take out this 52 area for this market to get going and, uh, and ultimately take out uh, uh, 50 even, 50 uh, half, 50 even to 50 half. So, all right, everyone, have a good day. Um, and um, see you at an update if there's uh, anything to talk about. Bye.